Do not do it if your upline that just recruited you in there says, gets me, uh, get me on the phone with your friends and family. You're ne you need to take a professional stance and say, listen, I appreciate that. We're going to go at my pace. And your pace needs to be building the right way and foundation. This is about warm market. The tactic for network marketing, why it has such a very high uh, a failure rate, is the pressure and promises, right? The false promises of income, which is most likely what it always is, and then the, the product claims, which are a little bit different. But it always is, just get, just get two people. And you just got to get two people. That's what you hear all the time. You see the diagram of the, uh, it's always the circle. Yeah, there's you. And then there's one person and one person. And then they get two people. And they get two people. You see this and you fucking run. Because this, getting one person could take you six months. It's re they, and they, people who talk about this don't talk about how difficult it is to get somebody in that not only comes in, but actually does work. So getting this, this, which is it's good money, it could be 500 bucks a month going into your home that'll pay for groceries, you'll go for gas for your car with how the economy is going. It's, it takes some considerable time, but you want to do it the right way. And the wrong way is to do what every, every network marketer does, which is going to put a bad taste in your mouth. And that is to go after your friends and your family. I'm going to tell you, you want to go after your friends and family, but there's a way I want you to do it. So this is warm market. And you need to understand you have a warm market and your cold market. Your warm market is the people that you know. Your aunts, your uncles, your, your sisters, your brothers, your friends, your family, all that stuff. Do not pitch them into your business. The reason why, and the most damaging one is, it could. They have, they, what do they call it, the NFL for network marketing? And a lot of big network marketers joke about it, the No Friends Left Club. It's fucking ridiculous. When you go to your friends and family, your, your level of personal expectation is down, right? You don't think that, oh, it's going to... I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have. I don't have to sell them. I don't have to learn uh, sales. I don't have to learn this. I have to learn that. You don't put the pressure on yourself to raise your skill game, and you don't see yourself as a professional yet. You just, you're gonna go to John that you've known, you work with, and come on, dude, let's do this together, and we're gonna be great. We're gonna be millionaires. You wouldn't do that. You wouldn't go to a Starbucks franchise and say, John, man, dude, we, I need, need you to come up with $1.5 million. Come on, we're going to be millionaires together. You're going to need to show them a business plan, the location, the traffic of that store. How's that store been doing the last five years? You're going to be, you need the whole business model. So why would you expect any differently when you go to your friends and family to not take that as seriously in this business? Psychologically, what it does is it puts you in the pressure of saying, oh, John or Aunt Jane or somebody, they're going to do this with me because they love me. And then when they don't do it, it puts a bad taste in your mouth because you sat there for God knows how long. And what you did is you fucked it up, right? You, you sat there and you flat out put the pressure on and you leveraged your friendship and connection to just fucking it up. And then your relationship is destroyed. Not to mention the fact that when you wind up putting it on them, the, you're putting the pressure on them to sit there and do the same. Oh, why, why are they fucking calling me? Why well, I don't want to do that. I don't want to tell them no. I don't know how to reject them. There's a different way to do it. Okay, what I want you to do is you have to look at the beginning. What are we at, what are we at now? We're at the uh, imitate, innovate, evolve. And this time I spelled imitate right, right? Imitate, innovate, evolve. That's the process. So if you're working on your selling skills, you're with, you're with company ABC. They sell, I don't know, the greatest toothpaste in the world. And you want to sell them. You need to know everything about the toothpaste company, about the toothpaste itself, the, the, the chemicals or the formula or the safety standards. You name it. You need to learn about that. Now you got to sell it. Go online, Jesse Lee Ward, Ray Higdon, Eric Worre, uh, uh, Jordan Belfort, Andy Elliott, all these great sales trainers, learn them. That's where you imitate. You take what you like from them, you innovate it, you make it yours, you cut the fat for what you don't like, you keep in you, the stuff you do like, and then you evolve over time to where it's your style. You, that's the process. Right? It's not, hey, going out and pitching and closing and all that stuff. It's learning the process of, of becoming your own person. The process can only be done if you practice it on people. This is where your warm market comes into place. So where do you practice? You practice on your friends and family. This is really quick. Don't 
go in a fucking MLM and tomorrow and pick up the phone and I just, hey, I just got this business and we're going to make a million. You just got in yesterday. Your word means fucking shit to them and you're going to try to pressure to get them to do your business? No. John, hey, listen, I, uh, I want to talk to you. I ju- this, is not a, this is not a personal call. This is a business call. I, I need your time. And you explain everything. This is what I tell anybody who's doing this. You need to get authentic. That is the most important way to discover your level of influence by being authentic, right? So what's wrong going, John? Hey, it's Dominic Izzo. I have not talked to you in years. And if you hang up the phone with me, I understand. I'm kind of scared shitless. Uh, I'm literally cold calling you because of a business I just started. I want to talk to you about it. And you go from there. But here's what's even easier for you. John, Dominic Izzo, hey, I have not talked to you in years. Listen, I'm sorry. I'm a shitty friend. I, you know, We worked together 10 years ago. I hope you're doing well. Can I schedule a time to practice something with you? I know this is not going to make any sense to you. I just got involved with an online business. I'm terrified of it. I know. I know you're not going to buy. I'm not looking to sell you. I'm not looking to get your money. I'm not looking to sit there and recruit you. Nothing. I literally want to know if I can role play with you and I can kind of just go over my pitch And you could tear me apart, ask me questions, give me objections, because I'm trying to practice this, and I'd love your feedback. I'm going to tell you flat out, if people would start doing that more and going through that process, you just might get somebody who's interested in your business because you disarmed them the right way. You didn't scam them by, oh, no, I'm not trying to get your business. How's Jane doing? How the kids doing? Yeah, no, I just got on this fantastic backache pad that takes away all my sciatic nerve problems. And yeah, I'm going to send you a link. You should look at it. And I'm going to tell you the other thing too. Do this either over the phone or in person. You people stop fucking sending text messages to people. Haven't talked to you in a while. You need to check this out and send a link. Keep, keep that shit up. You guys, you'll fail. You'll continue to fail, but then you'll quit the business, say it's a scam because you didn't do any work in investing in serving other people. So you can leverage that with your warm market, your sole job. Cold market we'll get into next. Sole job of the warm market is to go through the process of finding who you are. You find out who you are with your sales skills through imitating, innovating, and evolving. Maybe you're quiet. Maybe you're just, you're, you're methodical. I don't know if you're going to have the tenacity or your energy is going to be high or you're going to be like me, a high-functioning introvert. When the camera's off, I am mellow as shit. I, that's it, even keel. Camera's on, I perform. My energy comes out. I just feel completely different when the camera's on. When it comes down to the process, you have to discover who are you. I, it's like if you ever heard Eddie Murphy... Eddie Murphy got so big and successful because back in the 70s, he was doing, he was learning and copying uh, 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 Richard Pryor's routine. And he would perform Richard Pryor's routine for his family in the living room and make them laugh. He, he imitated, he copied, then he innovated, then he evolved. Same thing. Find your favorite salesperson, pull, practice it on them, even say it. Hey, listen. I've been watching this Andy Elliott guy on on, uh, Instagram, and he's a car salesman. I would love to sit there and try his approach on my product for my network marketing business. Say what you're in. For the love of God, disarm people with the pride of what you're in. Hey, the MLM I'm in, I I just, I want to learn this product and I'd love, you're in an MLM? Yeah, I'm in, I just started a couple weeks ago. I'd love to be able to practice on you. I want to do my pitch on you. I stole it from Andy Elliott. I want to see if I can make it work. Would you just listen to me and give me some pointers about what you like? Guys, this is what your warm market is for. Your warm market is not to fucking sell because I'll tell you this too. This is the danger. Go ahead. Get your warm market in. Get them to spend money in your business. Go ahead. Do that whole, hey, we're friends and oh, you, 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 you're supposed to care about me and we need to go on vacations together to the Bahamas. Go ahead and do all that shit. Now, when they don't work and they're not making the calls that, you know, we're going to do this together, see how you, see how you react. See how you treat them. Go ahead, see how you do it. And then maybe when you wind up ignoring them, see how it, when they come to you and they need something from you, how do you react? Do not put your personal relationships in business. Don't 
fucking do it. I don't care who needs to hear this. Business and friends do not mix. They never do. Your warm market is for practice. Practice, practice, practice. 708 982 0974. You need to get a hold of me. Call me. Text me. Let's have a conversation. Or bull of MLM at gmail.com. Warm market. It's where you practice the process, and the process is imitating, innovating, and evolving. You are finding out who you are with the greatest people in your life that you could disarm yourself. Be nervous with, be expressive with, fuck things up. It's your Petri dish. Blow shit up. See what works. Go in them. They will love you if you're honest and you show them true intentions and you don't try to fucking scam or sell them. Save the selling for when you're confident. We'll get to that next. That's what the beauty of your cold market is. Don't ever lie to anybody, even your cold market. Keep everything completely based on integrity and character and you're going to be fine. See you guys in the next video.